Zoom isn't just for online meetings. It's also a place where you can record video. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers so that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. There's multiple ways that you can record video on Zoom. First of all, start with Zoom and go into a new meeting. And so to record this meeting, all you gotta do is press record. This will give you two options for how to record your video. You can record it to this computer or you can record it to cloud. By recording it to your computer, it's going to process after you record it and while recording to the cloud, it's going to process the video as you're recording it. However, you won't be able to access this video until your meeting is complete. So let's say for this one, we're going to record to the computer. As soon as you start recording, Zoom is going to tell everybody that it is recording and you don't need multiple people in the meeting for it to record. So right now we are recording our meeting and it is just me and the camera and I can do whatever kind of presentation that I want. What I can also do is I can share my screen. So I can share my desktop and as I'm speaking, you'll be able to see whatever I'm doing on my desktop. For this, I could go into Canva. Let's see pull up a presentation. I can even start presenting that. So I'm going to start presenting that. And then you're going to be able to see me recording it, talking and my presentation. I can go through my presentation as I'm recording it and you will see both. Let's stop that share. You can share whatever you want to share. You can show people how to go to a website, a presentation, anything that's on your screen, you can record yourself. You'll be in that little box on the side and your shared screen. If you don't also want to appear in the box in the corner there, all you gotta do is minimize that window. Once you minimize that window, you're not gonna be shown in the recording. So let's stop that share and I'm back here with just me. Say you want to have somebody else in your video and you want to record an interview. To do that, you just have to share your Zoom link with them. You can schedule this ahead of time or you can just share it after you created your new meeting. So to share it, just go to invite, copy, invite link. If you copy the invitation, it will show the entire thing. The link is all you need. And then you just need to share that link with whoever you want to share your presentation with. So there we go. And then you just wait for the person to join your meeting. Once the person appears, you can admit them into your meeting. And now you're recording both of you. Say you don't want to record this section. You want to prep until your meeting's ready. You can pause your recording at any time and then start it again as you're ready for the interview. So say I'm just prepping my interviewee. Hi, Ryan. Are we ready for this interview? We're having an interview? Yeah, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, so we just prepped for the interview and now we want to start recording this again. So you just press play. You can see it's recording again. So hi, Ryan. How are you doing today? I'm sleepy. <laughs> and then you continue on with your meeting. Let's stop this. And then say you want to record some of it onto your computer and some of it onto cloud. So let's just record a little bit onto cloud. Now we're recording onto cloud. If you pause it, it will record to the same video source, but if you stop it, you can choose what video source you want to record it to. So hi, Ryan, we're recording online now. Oh, good. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Ryan. I'm Ida's husband now and a colleague. <laughs> yeah, I do both them things. Nice. Okay, so we're done our interview. Let's stop the recording. Recording stopped. So now it's going to process and allow me to access it through Zoom online. So now let's stop this meeting and I'm going to show you how to access these recordings. Just click on X and meeting for all. Bye, Ryan. And now you can see it's converting your meeting. So it's going to convert it into a file on your computer. 
It's also converting it and processing it online at the same time. I will be notified once that recording is available. So here you can see my video recordings since I paused and started again. It created two unique clips and so I can access it. So to access the ones online, you just need to go into Zoom, go into my account, and here you'll see recordings. It's not there quite yet. I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit longer for it to process. So once it's ready, it will appear here in my cloud recordings. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace. Peace.